Hello YouTube, we're back again for our fourth and final project from the live stream that I did on my very first YouTube video. With this mold, we're gonna turn this single piece of wood into four coasters. Four. So sit back and relax and watch me turn this piece of wood and epoxy into these nice coasters. Let's get started. First up, as we've done before, we're gonna take this piece of wood off that we use to set our kettlebell on to keep the wood from floating. So we're gonna take this piece of wood off first with our trusty hammer. And there we go. Not too bad. Now we're gonna take our wood here out of the mold. Open up the sides and this should peel right on out. Yep, just like that. Got our spalted maple and our green epoxy. And now we're gonna plane it down and expose all the spalted maple and really be able to see what we're working with. All right, let's send this wood and epoxy through the planer and see what we're really working with. So we got our wood plane down, exposing the wood grain. Next up, we're gonna take it over to the table saw and clean up this edge and then cut our coasters. So we got our coasters cut. We're gonna round over the edges with an eighth inch round over bit to get rid of the sharpness so we don't cut ourselves. All right, everyone, we're back the next day. I forgot that I needed some 220 sandpaper, so I had to go to the store and get some more. But while I was out, I remember watching a video, I believe it's from 6A Woodworks. I'll leave the link in the description of his channel. In his video, he made a jig like this to be able to sand coasters easily, uh, more coasters at a time. It makes it more efficient to sand the coasters. So what I did was I just used some scrap plywood that I had lying around, some scrap cherry that I used for making cutting boards. I took some shelf liner and attached a shelf liner with some spray adhesive, but just took the strips of cherry and made it to where it's big enough so the coasters will fit in. And then that way I can sand the coasters and they won't slide around. So now we're gonna to get to the sanding. We'll start out at 120, sand each side and work my way up to 220. Oh. 
So I'm gonna continue the sanding process and go from 120 to 180. Then I'm gonna pop the grain so when it gets wet from condensation, it won't get rough or anything like that. And do a final sand at 220. After that, we'll be back and apply the finish and get these nice coasters done. So it's time now to apply the finish. Just gonna use what I normally use for cutting boards. It's fine to use in this application too. You can use polyurethane. You can use a Osmo oil or armor seal. There's different things. Some people even just use just food grade mineral oil. Any of that will work. In this case and, and this time, I'm gonna use just my board conditioner. So I'm just gonna get my towel, put a little bit on here, and then rub it in to the coasters. And look at there. So these coasters are going to be for sale through my website by contacting me there or through my Facebook page. I don't imagine they will last very long, but good thing is I can always make more. So what I'm going to do is let this absorb into the wood, buff it out, and then come back with the reveal. See you in a little bit. All right, everyone, thanks again for watching another one of my videos where we took this crafted element silicone mold and created these nice coasters here made with spalted maple and epoxy. Next up, I'm gonna make a river charcuterie board for a customer request. That'll be on my next upload. But until then, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to share it with any of your friends and family. See you all next time.